have to uh, uh, show you the results of tuning the first one. I changed the uh, capacitor that I have in there for tuning it, and I removed my little uh, copper double-sided foil that I was using for for tuning it, and went ahead and put the load back on it. So I have 12 LEDs on unit one, and the two units are tied together, and I have 12 LEDs on unit two, and then as I changed this tuning, I found that I was getting some too much coupling back, so I took my mass off of there, and I just have a small lead on there. One thing that's important here that I want to show you, so, so that you understand how they're feeding back and how they're all working together, if I take at this point and touch this lead, let me back up so you can see, maybe if I get it in here, there. Now watch this lead panel over here. <laughs> kind of hard because I don't want to get them too close or they'll feed back again. Okay, watch this lead panel as I touch this. You see they both go out. You see that? Okay, so you know, somebody would say, okay, well, the unit on the left is really driving the unit on the right. Well, not at this point. Not after I changed the frequencies. Now let me change hands here with this thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this mass here. Now it's not a mass, just the lead out here, and you see it kills this, right? Okay, watch this one. So you see how intrinsically tied these two units are. They're, they're one unit, but yet they're dependent on each other. So we've now removed this copper that was laying there. We've gone ahead and put our load back on it to make unit 1 useful. We've taken and not only is unit 1 driving unit 2, but unit 2 is driving unit 1. Isn't that an oxymoron? And we have our 12 LEDs off of unit 2. So we have 24 LEDs right now running. Uh, will it do 50? Will it do 48? What do you think? Anyway, what I wanted to say also is for folks out here on YouTube uh, watching these videos. Folks, don't waste your time sending me comments or emails or anything else if you're going to mention Tesla. Uh, Tesla didn't invent everything in the world. Uh, there's one or two reasons that you'll mention Tesla, either because you, you don't fully understand what's going on, you better change your literature, or else you, you have a God complex, or you're trying to take and move the focus of a particular uh, series of circuits or something off into a different direction. So don't ever send me anything with Tesla. It goes in file 13 immediately. And for those, all of you folks out there just waiting, waiting for me to hand this to you, keep waiting, folks. <laughs>